Okay, morning everybody. Welcome to Dartmoor National Park. Uh, today we are going to be looking for cuckoos. So it's uh, just gone six o'clock Sunday morning. Um, I had a really, really good night's sleep last night actually. Um, came up yesterday evening um, just to try and uh, sort of get some golden hour photography done but um, uh, there was no such thing last night. It absolutely hoofed it down. And um, that uh, sort of put pay to that. So I uh, hung around in the car and then pitched my tent um, at about nine o'clock last night, just as it was getting dark and the rain had gone. Um, I had a bit of frost overnight, uh, but actually I had a really, really great sleep. Um, woke up this morning at about half past four to the sound of the cuckoo, which is um, really encouraging. And I've heard it, uh, heard it all morning. So um, I haven't actually tried looking for it yet. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be a fantastic day. We've got some really beautiful morning light shining across the moor as the sun comes up over Haytor, over that way. Yeah, no clouds in the sky. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get some great shots of the cuckoo. So in terms of kit today, got the Z6 um, on the 150 to 600 as normal. Um, last night camping wise, I used my snug pack Ionosphere uh, one man tent, um, which was uh, which was great. Um, my snug pack Special Forces sleeping system, I used the um, Special Forces two sleeping bag last night. Perfect choice, absolutely toasty really really great sleeping bag um, and perfect for uh, for last night so yeah i think that's going to be our trick for today we're just going to keep our ears out listen for the cuckoo um, and try and follow it but hopefully we'll get some other um, bird life there should be some uh, wheat ears starting to uh, to show there's lots of um, meadow pipits and skylarks up this way um, I heard quite a bit of owl action in the night, but haven't uh, haven't seen any. So um, yeah, fingers crossed we'll, uh, we'll we'll get some good shots. So I'm going to finish my coffee, pack up the kit, and um, see you in a little bit. Wander across the moor a little bit and follow the cuckoo's call. I've got some really lovely light at the moment. It's just getting to the stage where it's almost a bit too bright. Certainly, we don't want to be um, trying to shoot directly into that sun because it is very bright. But hopefully you can see behind me, it's casting some beautiful light across the moor. But the cuckoo's on the other side of this valley. So, um, it's difficult to judge distance, really. But he's been there for a little while now, so hopefully he'll stay put. Let's go see what we can find. I've just tucked into the corner of a field here under some hawthorns because I can hear the cuckoo across the valley. The problem is I've got um, no idea how far away it is. It sounds reasonable distance so I don't think I'm going to go chasing after it. I think what I'm going to do is just stick in this general area and um, see if it comes over this way.
done, what I've done is come and position myself right behind um, this wall here um, because I want to focus my lens on that tree that uh, is uh, in the middle of that field there. I, uh, you know, I have a feeling that if the cuckoo comes over this side of the valley, um, it's going to favour that uh, that position of someone to, to perch. Um, and it's quite quiet over here, not much else going on, so um, hopefully um, it might uh, come over this side. Okay, I'm actually making a move. Um, that all happened a bit quickly. Um, I couldn't really uh, sort of tee it up or tell you what was going on. The cuckoo just happened to fly across. So it uh, flew down across into the field where I was. But I, I didn't really have a good line of sight when I first saw it. So I moved back down behind that wall and uh, managed to I think get some really good shots um, I don't know how good the footage is going to turn out it was a bit uh, sort of uh, snatched but hopefully it'll be okay and then it's um, it's disappeared off um, there's actually a lot of people in the area now and uh, I think the cookies are probably going to be scared off by um, the amount of dog walkers and everything else that uh, are up here. But that was fantastic. Really, really great to see that cuckoo. Um, that's what we came for. So, uh, yeah, happy as Larry with that. Got some beautiful shots of the wheat ears. Um, yeah, happy, happy days.